欢迎来学习 NCEA Chinese Level Two Characters and Compounds Unit One, brought to you by NZ Chinese Classroom. 大家好，我是安丽老师 Throughout these vocab videos, it's really important that you work at your own pace. Everyone learns differently, so it's okay if you pause, stop, rewind, watch it five times, or even speed me up if you think I'm talking too slow. It's a really good idea to repeat after me. In this way, you can practice your tones and your pronunciation. Also, take note of the example sentences. These are there so that you can see the characters and words in a sentence and in a context. Make or note or draw a picture to help you remember the characters. Maybe it's circling a radical, or writing a little character story so that you can remember what the character looks like and what it means. It's important that you do this for yourself. And finally, write down any questions you have. This is really important because you might get to the class the next day. You might have had an issue, but you can't remember what you had the issue about. So write the question down so that you can ask your teacher. 第一个，爱，爱，就是 love， 爱好 ，hobby。我的爱好是看书。是什么意思 ？My hobby is reading books. 爱人 ，What do you think this is? Love person. This is a loved one, a husband or a wife. So usually this is used not when you're introducing a husband or wife, but when you're just talking about them casually. For example, 我爱人喜欢在海边跑步 I might be telling my friend. That my husband likes to run at the beach. 第四个，安。This one's in my name. 安丽老师 It means peaceful. 安静 Example: 一二三，请安静。安静是 quiet. 这是安排 Can you see the hand radical on the side of this pi? You use your hands. To arrange things in maybe straight lines, I like things in straight lines. So anpai means to arrange or an arrangement. For example, 这件事安排好的是什么意思 This thing is organized very well. 下一个安全 This means safe or safety. 在学校安全是最重要的事情 At school, safety is the most important thing. 对不对？安心，安心。This is about your heart, how you feel, peace in your heart. So, 我到家了，妈妈很安心。So this is to feel at ease. So I arrived home, so mum felt relieved. Maybe it was out late. 天安门，这是一个地方。你想和我一起去天安门吗？是一个地方，在北京。下一个，把，把。This is about your hand, so you can see the hand radical again over here, and then this is the sound part. For example, 请把那本书给我。So this is a grammar structure. We learnt this in level one. So it's about focusing on the object and what we've done with it, disposing it or moving it. So please, that book, give it to me. Okay. So we're using our hands to do that. There's also another use for this word. It can also be a measure word. 我有一把米 a handful of something. So a handful of rice. 一把米 So it's a grammar structure. It's also a measure word. 十一，班，班 class， 上班。我爸爸七点上班。My father started work at seven o'clock. So this 上 and 下 means to start or to finish something on top or below. You might see this come up in a few places. 下班 opposite finish work. 我爸爸四点半下班。
and Banjang. A Banjang is a class representative, so Jinian the Banjang Shi Luke Ban Half. So the new words in this one are Nan Ban Chiu Nan Shi Shema Shi South Southern Half Circle. Okay, so this is Southern Hemisphere. Xin Xilan Zai Nan Ban Chiu New Zealand is in the Southern Hemisphere. And the opposite, Bei Ban Chiu. Zhong Guo Zai Bei Ban Chiu. Dui Bu Dui. Xiao Yi Ge. Ban. This is also the same pronunciation, but this means to do or to manage something. So a Ban Gong Shi is an office. Ta Zai Ban Gong Shi Li Mian. She is in her office. Ban shi. Shi is, remember, stuff, but this is abstract stuff. So to do things. So, wo hemang, wo yao chu qi ban shi. I'm so busy, I have to go out and do things. So it's not specific things, it's just this stuff to do. Ban. Bang. Bang mang. To help. So you might be able to imagine in there. Maybe someone pulling some, someone up. Try and think of a character story that you can remember this character. Maybe the bang almost looks like a bee as well in the character. Bang mang is the more informal version of this verb. So it means to help or to assist. For example, 谢谢你来帮忙. Thank you for coming to help me. And 帮助. 帮助. This is the more formal version. You don't often actually see it together as two word, two characters. Ta bangju wo zuo zuo ye. He helped me to do my homework. But often you just see this as a one character word. For example, ni ke yi bang wo ma. We just use this bang by itself. So that's it for this week. For follow up, write down any questions you have. Get onto Quizlet and practice these words. Complete any listening or reading activities that you have been given and complete the grammar activities if there are any, and complete the unit test. That completes this video. See you next time. Zaijian!